Bro, the split suey takes out three different major compartments. That was a beautiful suey. Bro, the dragon riders are just cruising through this base. Nothing is stopping them. What in the world are we watching? Stadra with the new meta breaking Clash of Clans. Holy crap. And we're in with today's OP matchup, guys. After the update, the update just went live a couple of hours ago. And we got Penta versus Queen Walkers in the NACC tournament. And Penta are going in with the new troops, the new Dragon Riders. Early Yeti Bomb here from the south side of the base. Queen Charge starting at 6 o'clock. It's going to be Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Here come the CC troops. Two headhunters gunning it for the Queen here. Going to need that poison nice and early. Good poison spell drop in right there on the headhunters. Queen can easily deal with those. We're not yet having to drop a rage on the Queen. That would be nice if we didn't have to. Looking good so far. Okay. Nice. Queen going to easily deal with that Lava Dog. Only takes her a few seconds, but eventually she gets through it. Minion to help her take out the pups as well. Then she'll be able to start working her way down the right side of the base. That's looking good. The archer to funnel one mortar here on the left. Queen's going to step up for the Tesla. The air defense. Those new air defenses look pretty cool as well. Klaus with the OP new war scenery that you can purchase as well. That's looking great. Queen's going to step up. We can start wall breaking into the next compartment. Okay. We're going to try to wall break her into the scatter shot, I believe. King's going to be in charge of going and taking out the town hall, it looks like. And we funnel one building on the top side, so we should be able to easily reroute back inside. Queen's taking some interesting pathing, but she should, no matter what, go back down into the scatter shot compartment here. Looking decent. King has plenty of HP. We can pop his ability, even with another Tesla there, unless there's a million traps. He should be able to take out the Town Hall. There's Teslas, there's Giant Bombs, there's Skelly Traps. we got to pop his ability. Might have to give him an Invis or a Freeze. Ooh, he's trying not to. Down goes the Town Hall. We send the Dragon Riders from 730. With the Headhunters, pop the Warden ability nice and early. Rage up the Dragon Riders. Royal Champion from 9 o'clock. But there's a King there. But we got another Headhunter, but it was too early? Ooh, that Headhunter might have been way too early, bro. Queen can gut the core. Dragon Riders take a left-hand turn. They're very low on HP. He already lost most of his Dragon Riders. One of them's in the core. Two of them on the top side. We're going to raise the Royal Champion. We got a Freeze. Two Freezes, actually, and an Invis. I don't know. Is this going to work? There goes the next Freeze on the top side. Still got three Dragon Riders with the Warden. We can Freeze again. I think he's got it. Queen's still alive. Wraps around the right side of the base. It's a matter of time, really. 35 seconds to go. Okay. We got minions on the left. Minions on the top. Invis for the RC. He's got it all day long. Epi from Penta. Coming in with the Queen Charge Dragon Riders attack. Guys, is it the new meta? I believe it might just be 15 seconds to spare. Absolutely demolishes Klaus's base to kick off this match. Gaku is in with the first attack for Queen Walkers. Coming in with some Queen Charge Lalo action with a brand new level 10 balloons. Okay, let's see how he can do it here. <clears throat> Queen starts up at 9.30. Which way is she going to walk? We're delaying the healers. There go the healers. Looks like we want her to walk down. Nice. She's going to take out the air defense, take out the cannon. The expo's doing a lot of damage to her. We're waiting to deploy the first rage. We got a jump spell on this queen charge attack as well. There goes the first rage. She's not going inside. Was that the plan? Yeah, probably. It's just going to wall break into the ego artillery compartment. King on the outside to funnel. We're going to use another Sneaky Goblin down south so King can go in for the multi. Looks like the Tesla farm's here, though. We're going to use the Royal Champion to help him out. He might have sent that Royal Champion too early. No, that's probably okay. Coco Loon is in to help support the Queen. Queen's going to take out the Eagle very easily. The entire Tesla farm is here down south. We find, I think that's two Skelly Traps already. King's going to pop his ability. RC's going to pop her ability. We don't have any Invis spells to help her out. But they're going to be able to clear all this stuff on the bottom side of the base. We do have that jump spell. Bro, if he places the jump perfectly, and he does, I saw that coming right before he drops it. He's going to force her into that tiny channel where she can reach the town hall and the multi. All three builder huts and both sweepers. Bro, that is phenomenal getting her into that channel. I love it. Down goes the town hall. 
Down goes the Builder Hut and the Multi. Now she's gonna fight the Lava Dog, and he could Lalo from either side, really. I have a feeling he's gonna go from the bottom, though. Take out that Ground Expo early. Yep, he still has a Stone Slammer to use for her as well. This charge is gonna get insane value. That Lava Hound, though, is not gonna get a whole lot of value, but the right one will? Eh, maybe not. Scatter's gonna switch targets to the Loons. Yikes, we might have to pop the Warren ability early here. He's not popping it early, though. Okay. Dark. Dark. Queen finds the Tornado Trap, but she's not actually in it. He's holding on to that Warren ability. Here comes the Warren ability with the Headhunters. With the haste to get us into the second scatter shot. This is looking decent. That new max level dragon looks all super cool. Takes out the enemy queen. Takes out the enemy king. Down goes the second scatter. All that's left is a single target Inferno Tower. And he's swagging all the free spells for fun. LOL. Just drops them all at the same time. He knows this base is absolutely crushed. Couple back in loons that he didn't even need whatsoever. Another wizard that he doesn't need. Just going to help with clean up. 30 seconds to go. Gaku destroying this base with the queen charge Lalo with a jump spell. Holy banana balls. This base just got torn open a new one. 20 seconds to spare. And it's all tied up. Three stars apiece. Linge is in with the second attack for Penta. Can I get another three star and keep the streak going? He's popping a power potion to get those new max loons. He's going in with a Zap, Lalo, seven Lightnings, and one Earthquake. Also one Invisibility to help out probably with the Royal Champion at some point. We're going to Zap away the core. He splits up the Zaps, brought seven instead of five, so we can take out the Expo and the Sweeper as well. I like that. Guts the entire core. Okay, he's got no Yak with his King. Must be upgrading his Yak. Rip, rip. Queen with an Ice Golem and a Wall Break to go take out the Town Hall Chamber. Let's see, the king on the bottom side, he's going to walk into the single target Inferno. Might have to invest a free spell or use the invisibility on him, or else that single is going to kill him nice and early. We don't have the yak to support him. Wizard on the outside for the queen. She can pop her ability for the town hall. Skelly traps to distract the road champion. We pop the king ability. We're going to invest the free spell, but the headhunters are going to slow that king down. But we got the lightning for the headhunters. I like that. Beautiful. That's what his seventh lightning was for. RC with the invis takes out the multi. King doesn't quite get the single. We don't get the Builder Huts either. So we didn't really pot or cut the ring for this Lalo. The Lalo pathing is going to be a little awkward. He's just going to use the Stone Slammer to cut off the ring. And then I guess Lalo from the top side so we can knock down the Eagle early. Especially since you don't want to Lalo into that Sweeper. Hopefully the Stone Slammer goes up and into the Scatter. No, it's not. Rip, we got to send Loons there. That's okay. Scatter Shot locks onto the Hound. That's beautiful for us. Ace into the first scatter. Nice. We get through that. Tesla's on the top side here. Here comes more Lala. We got an Ice Hound as well. That's going to end up freezing up the Queen, which is going to be beautiful. Lalo making its way through the Eagle. Dragon on the bottom side is going to die to the single, but that's okay. The Ice Hound freezes so much over there. Really high value from that Ice Hound. But now the scatter shots on the Loons. Oh, he didn't pop Warden Ability. He just lost like 17,000 Loons. Now he pops a Warden Ability. Headhunters take out the Queen. Got to hasten to the scatter shot. If the scatter shot goes down, I think it's a triple. And it does. He still has one more freeze in the bag. He's got a poison. That Lava Hound's probably going to end up popping. But he's got the poison for that. There goes the last freeze on the Wizard Tower. He's got so many loons alive. A minute for cleanup. Warden at full HP with the Owl. We're going to poison for the Hound and the Pups. That are going to come out right afterward. Boom. Down they go. It's a minion on Pup Battle. Who's going to win? Who has the stronger Pups? Boom, bada, boom, 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 boom. Oh, these Pups are on the Owl. But the Owl with the splash damage. Nice. Owl with the chain effect kills all those. The sweeper is going to be really pesky here. And another wizard tower on the back end. I think he's okay. Ah. Yeah, he should be fine. There's a red bomb. There's a tornado trap. Uh-oh. Making us do the disco dance into our death. But the warden at full HP. There's way too many loons. The new level 10 balloons do a lot of damage as well. Down goes the, the single. Down goes the wizard tower. Down go all the trash buildings. Plenty of time to spare. Boom, bada bang, bada bam. There's 98, 99, and 100% for another three star on the board for Penta. Putting all the pressure right back onto Queen Walkers. Stadra is in with the second attack for Queen Walkers. They got to get another three star just to keep up with Penta. And let's see if they can do it here on Zakia's base. He's going in with the Dragon Rider attack. What is this? Blizzard? Blizzard into Sui into Dragon Riders. This is going to be the new meta, huh? 
Here goes the Blizzard. Gonna get the Eagle. Gonna get the single. Might kill the Royal Champion if he would stop making her invisible. He makes her invisible again. Rip. Not gonna kill the Royal Champion, but that's okay. We get the Expo. We get the CC pool. Down goes the Expo. We get a partial CC pool. Looks like he got everything except the Lava Hound. That's a little interesting. Free spell so the Queen can take out the Headhunters. He wants her to walk up. And she will. We got the Unicorn with her. We're gonna drop a Golem. It's gonna be a big Sui from the left side of the base. We got a wall breaker. Two wall breakers, actually. Okay. Sneaky goblin to funnel. Golem and queen are going to go in. Are we going to use the king and the two ice golems here as well? Maybe not. He might be sending the king for the town hall. This might be a split Sui. Got two ice golems. Where is he going to use them? There's a wall breaker on the top side. Definitely sending the king for the town hall. With both, no, just one Ice Golem. Where's the other Ice Golem coming in? Oh, this timing with the Lava Hound is actually awful. Queen has to fight the Lava Hound while the Scatter Shot shoots her. And he didn't use the other Ice Golem over there. Instead, he used the Ice Golem with the Royal Champion from the south side of the base. Has to pop the Invis on the Queen. And the Hound goes to the King. Bro, that Invis was 200 IQ. Holy crap. Can Queen take out this entire compartment now? King takes out the Town Hall. RC on the south side takes out the Scatter. Bro, the split Sui takes out three different major compartments. That was a beautiful Sui. We send the Dragon Riders with Headhunters, with the Rage, with the Warden ability from the right side of the base. Those Headhunters melt through the Queen with the, with the Rage. The RC is still alive. She's going to meet up with the Dragon Riders. We can freeze on the right. We can freeze in the core. The Queen is still alive. She's going to end up fighting the Lava Hound. The Dragon Riders get through the multi in the core. We still got five of them alive. We got an Invis. We got a Skelly spell. We got a Poison. He didn't use the Poison. Now he can on the Pups. No, doesn't even need it. Bro, the Dragon Riders are just cruising through this base. Nothing is stopping them. What in the world are we watching? Stadra with the new meta breaking Clash of Clans. Holy crap. Minions on the south side for cleanup. He's going to swag a Poison spell. He's going to swag a Skelly spell. Beautiful. Attack from Stodger. What do we even call this attack? The Blizzard Sui Drag Rider Smash? I mean, I don't know, dude. That was awesome, though. 99% and 100% two swag spells. And Stodger putting all the pressure back onto Penta. It's all tied up again. Six stars apiece. Muffin is in with the third attack for Penta. Coming in with some Queen Charge Dragon Rider action here. Let's start with the queen over at 9 o'clock. She's going to go straight into the town hall compartment, it looks like. I reckon. He's only got one wall breaker. Is he trying to get queen to just go in by herself naturally? She might not. She probably won't. He's going to walk up. We're going to have to wall break her in. We're going to try to funnel with a baby dragon. But there's lots of Teslas up there. Ooh. She should still go in for the town hall, though, at some point. He's going to just queen charge the town hall. Super simple. No jump spell or anything. He does have two lightning spells that he uses for a sweeper there at nine o'clock to help the Sui. He currently has a siege barracks activated. The bowler on the right side took out an air defense. That was a pretty OP bowler value. Queen fights the lava dog. She'll take care of that before the town hall wakes up. That's nice. If he does he actually use a siege barracks on this attack? That's gonna be funky if he does. It'd be really interesting, but okay. Queen's going to take ten and a half years, but eventually she gets through the town hall. There goes the rage spell to keep her alive. She can take out the town hall, take out the warden statue, take out the gold storage. And then which side do we go in with the dragon riders? Has to freeze right there just to keep Queen alive. She's taking a lot of damage. Now she's going to step inside the orange juice of death rip. going to be tough to keep her alive with all those ground bows and the cannon and everything. Got to rage her up again. We funnel with the sneaky goblin. There goes the king and the siege barracks on the outside and here come the dragon riders with the king we still got the rc to deploy do we use her with the dragon riders yes we do this is literally like queen charge hybrid but instead of miners and hogs you use dragon riders does it work let's see dragon riders find the tornado trap they're doing the disco dance royal champions making her way to the court king and siege barracks on the outside are making a funnel for the dragon riders and the royal champion queen is doing a great job of staying alive over here on the left side of the base he still has four Dragon Riders alive in the core. We got a Freeze and an Invis. I don't know, dude. His Dragon Riders are taking a lot of damage. We got to Freeze the Multi. He's got one more Dragon Rider from inside the Siege Barracks. That's kind of neat. Queen over here. If we pop her ability, she could take out the back end air defense quickly. We pop the RC ability. We lost most of the Dragon Riders in the core. 
There's still one alive on the right. We're gonna use the invis to keep him alive alongside the balloons. Queen pops her ability. Eagle targets healers. I don't know, does he get this? Mm. We needed to stay inside the walls to go take out the scattershot. The scattershot's gonna stay up. We got balloons, warden, and one dragon rider alive. 20 seconds to go. I'm not sure if he gets this. Queen's going on the outside. We need somebody to take out the scatter shot. The scatter shoots our warden before it shoots loons, bro. That scatter's OP. Dragon Rider takes out the expo. Only 10 seconds though. It's gonna be a time fail. The Dragon Rider's at full HP. The owl chain is hitting the gold mine, bro. No way it's gonna work. Two, one, no. The owl switches targets. It's a 99.999%. The gold mine stays up. And it's a defense for Gaku. Oh my. And Queen Walkers with a chance to steal the lead if they triple their next attack. Stars is in with the third attack for Queen Walkers. He's coming in with Lalo with a clone and seven invis. Bro, is he using super archers? Man's is nutty if he's using super archers after the update with no rocket loons or anything. Here comes the blimp from one o'clock. He's gonna use super archers, bro. He's gonna get the scatter and both multis if this works. Where does he pop it? He pops it right there. It's gotta be super archers, right? There goes the invis. There goes the rage. There goes the clone. It's super archers, but they might lock onto the hound. The invis on the hound is OP. Come on, super archers, please go for the multis. You need them to go for the multis. If they go for the multis, it's gonna be worth it. They're not going for the multis. They're gonna lock onto the hound. Oh, bro, this is not gonna be worth it. He makes the hound invisible. Did they go for the multis? What are they shooting? Come on, go for the multis! Bro, they go for the clan castle building. One more invis and that's all we got. They go for the lower multi, but not the upper one. Okay, was it worth it? He was probably expecting them to get both multis. They only get one of them. Mm, we'll have to see. If anybody can recover from that, it's stars though. This man is absolutely insane. He starts with the queen at three o'clock. She's gonna fight the Lava Dog. Archer to funnel the top side. He's still got a, quite a bit of value, but he doesn't have a single spell for the Sui or the Lalo. He used literally every spell on those Super Archers. King, Queen, and an Ice Golem from this bot or the right side of the base. He wants them to get all the way to the Town Hall, I believe. That's gotta be the goal here. He doesn't have any spells. Might need to pop the King ability early to keep him from getting targeted from the single. Please pop the King, pop the, ooh. Okay, the second Ice Golem is going to distract. Baby Dragon to funnel the bottom side. We still got the Royal Champion we could use to help out. Where does he use her? He might not even need her to get the Town Hall. In fact, he doesn't, dude. This Sui is going great so far. They're definitely going to get the Town Hall. Where does he... He's got a Lalo from the top side. Maybe just use RC with the Lalo. It's probably going to be the best value. I think. He, he starts the Lalo from 9 o'clock instead of 12. What? What the heck is this Lalo, bro? First Lava Hound is in. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a weird looking Lalo. Gotta pop the Warden ability early. Guess the Headhunter's going for the Queen in the Warden ability. Where's the, he uses the Royal Champ at six o'clock. He's gonna finish on the Eagle with no spells? Bro, that's risky as heck. The Scatter Shot's there as well. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. The Multi, the Scatter, the Eagle, everything's still up. The Headhunters did not kill the Queen. Bro, Stars, you're throwing this Lalo away. Why, sir? Oh, man. The RC will take out the Inferno, but the Queen stays up. I, I did not like that Warden ability with the Headhunters. Oh, uh, he might still get it. Hold on. Down goes the Queen. No more loons. We're making our way into the Eagle. Hold up. 15 seconds, though. He's going to run out of time. It's going to be a time fail. Down goes the Eagle. We step up for the Warden, but the Seeking Air Mine snipes the Warden. Down he goes. It's all up to the Owl and the Queen, bro. It's a time fail. Three, two... One, Queen would have finished off the base, but it's 96%. And just like that, we're all tied up. But Penta are actually in the lead by three buildings. Tim is in on Starz's base. Bring us some more Dragon Rider action with Super Barbs and Rocket Balloons. Okay, okay. <clears throat> What's he going to do here? We got six bat spells as well. What is this attack? Sir. Where's he gonna start? Got seven dragon riders. 
four rocket balloons, three super barbs, and six bat spells. We're going with the king first with an ice golem. King's gonna walk down and into the expo compartment. Two super barbs to funnel the outside. King and queen are gonna make their way in toward the nine o'clock compartment, okay? This is like the new version of drag bat, I guess. Headhunter to help kill the enemy king. Nice, queen goes inside as well. Ice golem's gonna be able to freeze up, help out with the Sui. King's getting a ton of value here. We're gonna end up pulling the CC troops early. The classic lava dog and two headhunters. Ooh, he didn't, he didn't bring a poison spell. I guess he wasn't expecting King to actually pull the CC troops there. Yak is trying to kill the headhunters, but oh, he does kill. No, he kills one of them, but not the other. Oh, Queen snipes the other. Woo! Woo! Okay, good thing. She deals with all the CC troops. We start with the, oh my gosh, look at this. Dragon Riders and Rocket Balloons in with the Warden ability. Early Rage, Blimp for the Town Hall. Bro, is that Blimp gonna make it? That's looking a little sketchy. That's looking a little sketchy. Hopefully it's not baited. Dragon Riders on the south side are clearing through the defenses. The blimp. Oh, the tornado is so perfect from stars. The preemptive rage might be in the wrong spot. Or is it going to be okay? I think he's going to be okay. We got balloons and dragon. Down goes the town hall. Whew. We still got bats. We still got a row of champion, bro. This is looking crushed. If that dragon can take out the multi as well. Bro, the dragon takes out the town hall and takes out the multi in the core. Bro, that dragon's the MVP. Holy crap. He's got the RC. He's got bats. Send the bats from somewhere. He goes from 3 o'clock with the bats. This base is crushed. Absolutely crushed. And freeze up the wizard tower. He's got three freezes. RC can take out the other wizard tower. This is smashed all day long. Just freeze the wizard one more time. He can probably swag the last freeze. Beautiful. Drag rider bat attack. The, the, the bat rider. Let's call it the bat rider from Tim. LOL. New meta attack right here. A minute for cleanup. Has plenty of troops on the south side. Freeze spell in the bag that he doesn't even need. RC is so fast on cleanup as well. The new Bat Rider attack absolutely smashes Star's base. And just like that, Penta are going to maintain their lead and putting so much pressure onto Queen Walkers now who have to three star just to keep up. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus himself is in with E Dragons? LOL. All the new toys to play with and Klaus is like, let's go with E-Dragons, bro. This is his time to shine. I don't know if I've ever seen him spam E-Dragons, but here he goes on Muffin's base. What is he going to be doing? Which way does he come in from? He's got four rocket balloons as well. He can probably snipe some air defenses with those rocket balloons. Where's he going to start? Takes the full 30 seconds to come up with his E-Dragon plan. He's going to wall break King in on the top side of the base. Okay, King will take out the multi. He's gonna make a nice little funnel here. Queen on the left side as well. One E-Dragon at 12. We're gonna do E-Dragons, it looks like, from the top right side of the base. King pops his ability, clears the entire compartment. That's looking good. Another wall breaker to get Queen access to the multi. When does he start the E-Dragons? Be impatient. There goes another E-Dragon at three o'clock. Klaus is trying to make E-Dragons look surgical. That's normally not what you do with E-Dragons. Two rocket balloons for the air defense. That's nice. Er, the E-Dragons are in. He pops the Warren ability before anything gets targeted. No, he doesn't. It's hard to tell when he pops a Warren ability and when he doesn't. The, e, the new level 5 E-Dragons are so glowy, it almost looks like he popped the Warren ability, but he actually didn't. There goes the Warren ability with the double rage. Mass Headhunter CC. Ooh. And Queen deal with some of those. We got the poison spell. Here comes the battle blimp for the town hall. There's not a whole lot of base left. He still has the Royal Champion. Okay. There's the tornado trap making our E-Dragons do the disco dance. There's the poison spell. One headhunter might just kill our warden. Uh-oh. Okay, no. Owl snipes it. Blimp makes it to the town hall. We freeze the town hall, except we miss the town hall. Rip. Town hall still drops. Nothing went for the multi in the core. We got the RC on the left side of the base. Still got her ability. Still got two freezes and a rage. He's got so many E-Dragons still alive. There goes the RC ability. There goes a free spell to keep her alive. She switches targets to the Skellies. There goes the next free spell to keep her alive. With the Rage spell still intact, he's got it all day long. He's going to Rage up the RC even. Doesn't need it for the E-Dragons. They're on cleanup duty. RC's going to take out the Wizard Tower. RC's going to take out the Cannon. RC can take out the Multi. The E-Dragon Spam Triple from Klaus. Whew. First time I've seen him do that. Beautifully done. He still has like 74 E-Dragons alive. Wow. And just like that, we are all tied up going into the last round of attacks. 11 stars apiece.
Zakia is in on Yuta 14's base Penta or in the lead on percent by three buildings. If they triple this attack right here, the war is over and Penta win. If they don't, Queen Walkers can steal the victory. And he's going in with Queen Charge Hybrid. Okay. Queen's going to go directly into the single. We got to freeze early. Going to have to rage early as well. Where's the rage? Where's the rage? There's the rage. The single locks onto our owl. That's funny. New level 10 balloons. One shot the Inferno Tower under the rage. That's beautiful. Queen steps up. That wall breaker was perfect. Gives Queen access to the Town Hall. And she can even fight the CC troops before the Town Hall wakes up. This timing is so far perfect from Zakia. Looking good here. Gonna be having a Siege Barracks as well for this hybrid. Okay, so we're just gonna let Queen charge the bottom side of the base here. Gonna wake up the Town Hall. Hello, Skelly Trap. Poison Spell is still there and actually kills the Skelly. That's nice. Rage Spell to allow Queen to take out the Town Hall. It's looking nice. Down it goes. And he could honestly start the hybrid whenever he wants. Looks like he's gonna go from the right side here. Queen finds the Tornado Trap. She's gonna do the Disco Dance there into the Orange Juice. Siege Barracks early. King's gonna be deployed from 2 o'clock. There he goes. Hybrid in from 4. Eagle Artillery is shooting the hybrid. Gonna have to heal early because of that. Where's the heal, sir? Sir. Ooh. There's the first heal with the giant bomb. Oh, he just lost all the hogs. That heal was one second too late. Rip all the hogs. He's got more hogs in the siege barracks, though. Queen steps up for the clan castle building. Then the builder hut's next. We're gonna pop the warren ability any second now. Keep those miners alive. Hogs in the siege barracks go straight into a bomb tower. Without any spells, they're gonna die, too. Bro, we literally got no value out of, like, any of our hogs in this attack. There goes the last heal in the core. We got two freezes. We're going to freeze the scatter shot. Royal Champion goes for the left multi. Healer switched to the miners. Everything skipped the right multi and the eagle? This pathing's a little wonky. Royal Champion's still alive with ability with one more freeze to go. Two ground expos are targeting her, though. We got the unicorn on the Royal Champion to help her stay alive a little bit longer. Queen goes down because the healer switched to the warden. Test the farm on the left side of the base. Minion on the top side for the cannon. RC already used her ability. It's looking like a defense for Queen Walkers. Uh-oh. We send in the archer. How much percent can he get, though? Percent does play a role here. Warden's still alive. He's going to snipe all these buildings on the left. Bro, this still might work. He's got the freeze to keep the RC alive. The perfect freeze. It would have been better if he didn't freeze the cannon. We needed to shoot the Warden and not the RC. It wakes up. It shoots the Warden. He still might triple. He still might triple. Oh my gosh, the Warden charge to finish off the base. Does he have time? The RC is going to die to the Teslas, though. He might time fail. The RC dies. The Warden can finish off the base, but I don't think he's got time. The RC dies. The Tesla goes down. Only 10 seconds to go, though. The Wizard and the Minion on the top. The Warden snipes buildings on the left. Oof. What a nice try from Zakia. But we're going to fall short at 96 percent wow which means queen walkers have a chance to steal the win and it looks like they cannot catch up on percent they or they can 99 percent two star would make it a perfect tie 99 percent two star is a perfect tie three star for the win 98 percent or less and queen walkers lose yuda 14 is in with the final attack of the match a 99 percent two star would equal in a perfect tie if he triples queen walkers win that's the only way queen walkers can win is with a triple well if they get the perfect tie then it comes down to who has the faster attack so who knows we'll see 98 percent or less and penta win though we're going in with the queen charge dragon rider attack the invis spell because he thinks queen might have gone the wrong way there already had to use one of his invis spells early Giant and RC to funnel the multi over here on the right. Queen's going to charge into the Eagle Artillery, it looks like. Okay. Let's see. What is he going to be doing? We got four Rocket Balloons. Four Dragon Riders. A Blimp, presumably for the Town Hall. RC's going to pop her ability. She clears all those defenses in that compartment and gets the air defense on the right. Here come the CC troops. The next wall breaker is in and gives Queen access to the Eagle Artillery compartment. Poison spell to help her deal with the CC troops. It's a Lava Dog and an Ice Golem. She already killed the enemy King with the help of a Headhunter. That's looking nice. She's going to be able to deal with those pups pretty quickly. A minion to help support as well. What's going to be the plan here? I'm guessing he's just going to send the Dragon Riders in from 9 o'clock, blimp the Town Hall, and just hope for the best. Looks like that's going to be it. 
Queen's gonna step up. She can reach that other sweeper. No, she skips it. She's gonna walk down south. Okay, there goes the next rage. That was an interesting rage. Didn't need it. He just uses it for time reasons, I guess. King on the outside to funnel here. The eagle targets the queen, but she's okay. King on the outside with the wall breaker. He's gonna go take out the scatter shot. Where do we send? We could just send the dragon riders to the core, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Here we go. Dragon riders to the core with the blimp. Queen's gonna take out all these defenses here. We're gonna pop the king ability. He needs to take out the scatter shot. With his ability, he's gonna go for the queen. Oh, that's too much damage. He doesn't get the queen or the scatter. That's bad news bears. We freeze the town hall. We freeze it again, but we miss. Oh no. Pop this warden ability. Keep the dragon riders alive. Queen's gotta fight the enemy queen. We use the invis spell. She's gonna be through a wall. She'll get the scatter shot. Can the dragon riders stay alive through the orange juice of death? We got rocket loons from the top side for the air defense. The orange juice though. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage. Queen's gonna have to pop her ability. She can take out, down the scatter. The dragon riders, bro, they took too much damage. They die to the giga poison. It's gonna be a defense, bro. Queen. Oh, is she gonna go down as well? The sweeper is being so pesky. 30 seconds to go. I think Queen could finish off the rest of the base. It's gonna be technically a time fail. Unless the healers die to the multi. Warden might snipe the multi here, but the archer tower on the top side kills all of his cleanup minions. 17 seconds to go. Come on, Warden. Come on, Warden. Kill the multi. Kill the archer tower next. Does he go for the archer tower? Oh, it's gonna be a time fail, bros. If only he had a few more seconds. Rip you to 14. Queen takes out the barracks. It's gonna be the 96% time fail for Yuda. And it's gonna be a victory on percent for Penta. 99 to 98.4. GG's to Penta.